Wait, Jeff, you ready for it? Coming up. You betcha. I'm really excited. I've, I've missed opportunities at least twice to get there. Nice. So we, got storm, we got stormed out big time once that yeah. we were going to hit today's day. Well, I'm excited because it looks like it's going to be a beautiful day. I'm just ready to ride a road with a curve in it. No and doubt, straight dude. Straight for the last thousand miles. With something. Yeah, exactly. It's curves. That's all we want. b Real had to split off and head back to California. The rest of us left our lovely motel in Gallup, New Mexico and headed north on Highway 491 for some flat and hot riding to start the day, and the temp got to triple digits in no time. There's not much to see, but a few houses now and then in the middle of nowhere. It makes me wonder who would settle in such a flat, dry, hot place with nothing around for miles. It seems like such a godforsaken land, but hey, there's something for everyone, they say. We cut across BIA-5 for a shortcut and eventually hooked up with Highway 371 to the north. It was north from there on Highway 550. We went through Flora Vista, and Aztec, New Mexico. As we crossed into Colorado, it was becoming greener and more beautiful, and that was very welcome to us all. We were all anticipating what we knew was to come later this day. We made it to Durango, Colorado, and stopped at the dealership for a break. Dude, no more flat, freaking dry, no oh, curve yeah, roads, dude. It was nice. This is so beautiful. Dude, that road coming down in? Yeah. And then the one before that. Right. Dude, I wish we would have had a clear stretch. Uh, totally, dude. Oh. It's gonna get better though, bro. Look oh. at look at to the north, oh. man. Oh my god. Hi. How are you? <laughs> Alright, I need one of you to find your favorite t-shirt. That's what I do at every dealership. I'm usually in agreement. My wife says I wear way way too many black Harley shirts, so I need a I need to do color. Let me see that. That is pretty cool. Alright. Yeah. Sold Puente, he'll always find the clearance rack for oh, us. Oh, yeah, this, buddy, because right he's smart. This is a cool, from what I've seen of it, just driving through this Durango, I would love to come back here and stay for a day and just check it out. It looks really cool. Oh yeah, and the time had finally come and I could feel the excitement of the crew. What you ask? Well, we were headed out of Durango, Colorado to ride the million dollar highway, which is well known by motorcyclists as one of the best roads to ride. But more about that highway a bit later. For now, we just wanted to enjoy the ride there, north on Highway 550 out of Durango towards Silverton. The temperature dropped to 83 degrees as we gained elevation, which was the coolest we'd felt in a while on this trip. The smell of the trees was welcome and the cool, fresh air could be felt in our lungs. After days of pounding the miles on flat roads in triple digit temperatures, I know that each of us felt that we had earned this ride. It's times like these that a biker's soul is truly set free. And we made it to the start on the south end of the official million dollar highway. Yep, it gets even better than what we had just ridden. All right, just real quick, promise we'll get right back into your video. A ton of man hours, effort and expenses go into helping as many bikers as we can worldwide. There is a way you can support us and get benefits. You can become a patron member. Link in the description below. You pledge a certain amount per piece of content. No risk to you because you can put a monthly cap. There are the benefits, like I say, t-shirts, stickers, uh, the private Facebook group, you get access to that. It's a troll free zone. Uh, access to our live private video broadcasts and chat, up to access to our premium videos up on request, and you get access to ride events and meetups. All right, let's get back into your video.
The Million Dollar Highway stretches for about 25 miles in western Colorado and follows the route of US 550 between Silverton and Alray, Colorado. Many say the highway is dangerous, challenging, and potentially hazardous to drive. It's characterized by steep cliffs, narrow lanes, and a lack of guardrails. But I'll tell you, it's worth it. The origin of the name Million Dollar Highway is disputed. There are several legends though, including that it cost a million dollars a mile to build in the 1920s, and that its fill dirt contains a million dollars in gold ore. About halfway between Silverton and Alray is the Red Mountain Ghost Town. It was once the largest mining camp on Red Mountain Pass. We dropped down into the town of Alray, Colorado, where the Million Dollar Highway ends, and we were in awe of what we had just experienced. Alray has a population of about 1,000, but clearly has a large tourist draw. The town was originally established by miners chasing silver and gold in the surrounding mountains. At the height of the mining, there were more than 30 active mines. We ate at the Alray Brewery, where if you get a seat on the upper deck, you can overlook the town and the magnificent backdrop of mountains. Make sure you look straight out when you're on that balcony and see if you can find the beautifully placed American flag on the hillside. Get up outside and roll 